Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together. Today we're going to be talking about the Singapore Dimensions Kindergarten Curriculum. Now this is a big curriculum and we talked a lot about this in our podcast, which we've linked below. So if you want to get a little bit more of an in-depth review of this curriculum via audio, we have that. But today we're going to be doing a walkthrough. Now, this is a big curriculum. <laughs> a lot of books. A total of six books I'm staring at and there's a seventh that we didn't get. So you can get a lot of books in this one. You get workbooks, you get textbooks, you get teacher's guides, ton of materials. We're going to take a look at most of them. I think you'll get a good idea of what it looks for. Now there's 14 chapters through the entire curriculum for the year. Now this is kindergarten. So if you can imagine eight, nine months of the year, and you'll be burning through a, maybe a chapter every three weeks. So keep that in mind and how you teach it. This is a hundred dollar curriculum. So a little bit more than the previous ones we've reviewed on this channel. But really nice so let's go ahead and dive right into it all right so the first thing that we'll see here is you get two teachers guides now the year is broken up into an a and a b curriculum uh like kind of like half of the year so we're just going to look at the one so because they're basically the same thing now with the teacher's guide which i think is a great thing so you can imagine this is actually could be used in a kindergarten class and the funny thing is, my wife's off camera. This is the one we're using, right? This is the one my, my daughter is using at our parent partnership that she will be going to this year. So right off the bat, you can imagine a teacher, your, your, your local Miss Frizzle, who will be going through and teaching the math. So we have chapter one, chapter two, so on and so forth, explaining the lessons on each one of them. Now, let's dive into the curriculum as we flip through all the pages. Okay, so here we go chapter one so right here they tell you exactly what you're doing and they tell you the pairing of the textbook to the workbook so let's take a quick look at those two before we continue on so you will get a textbook ka and ka so workbook textbook and then obviously for the second half of the year you will get your b books so focusing on the first half of the year because they're all basically the same they do tell you in the workbook, so as you are doing your pages, they tell you what resource you're gonna need. So they'll reference that. So this is a great reference page as you're teaching the curriculum, helps you walk through that because you are balancing so many things in this curriculum. Now, first thing they do is really nice. They break out the page. So let's go ahead and get that workbook. I think the textbook page. So you can imagine all the students sitting there in the classroom and the teacher sits there and says, let us open up to our workbook page. Let's see if I can get it correctly here. Sort one, chapter one. Yeah, see, I'm doing this on the fly. So they break out the page. They tell you exactly what you need to be doing and exactly what you will be covering. So they'll tell you chapter two, lesson one, count to five. So they'll, this is just an example here. Tell you what materials, what storybooks you'll want to do. So then here it is, the chapter opener. So if I go into the workbook, into the, I'm sorry, the textbook, I always get a little bit confused about the textbook versus the workbook. I kind of think is the workbook is something that the student will be taking home and kind of doing it on their own. The textbook being the thing that they'll be doing in the classroom with the teacher. So you can see here, they break out the page and then they explain to you what you'll be teaching to your learner. Now this is very helpful if you are a kind of a nervous teacher, don't know if you can teach math to your student at home. Great way to help break a little bit of that ice, get you comfortable about the subject that you're teaching. Now, as you can see, as you flip the page, we'll talk about the next page here as well. Lesson one, left to right. Again, the objective, how to explore that and how to learn that. And then there's whole group activities. So you can imagine a large classroom, kindergarten teacher herding a bunch of cats and they want to do an activity. So they supply a bunch of activities, ideas of things you can do, and then moving on to your exercises. So every single page in both the workbook and the textbook is broken out for you. So you can help you explain as you move through the lessons, um, what, what activities to do, how to do that, so on and so forth. So let's get a quick look at what the textbook looks like. So again, very visual book. as the first thing you can kind of see when you first start. Very visual, obviously kindergarten level, so you're not gonna be doing a lot of like calculus in this level, maybe a little bit next year 
Um, so a lot of cool activities, a lot of fun activities, a lot of coloring, very visual, obviously matching. You can see, you can imagine them saying, okay, well, here you go. There, the little dialogue bubble. So which ones are smooth and which ones are rough? And they, they can circle, they can indicate. So it's a lot of in writing into the book. You'll be seeing that kind of repeating itself here, so on and so forth. And then when you get to the end, they kind of have this thing called practice. It's at the end of every chapter. And you can think of it as kind of a light assessment. Um, obviously this is kindergarten level, so there's really like, you know, what are you gonna be doing? So he, obviously the, the little character says, cross out the one that's different. And obviously yellow, yellow collar dog needs to get out of here because that's kind of crazy for him being in here. Match the, the subjects foot to computer because it's not working obviously and then it goes into in the chapter two now that's the textbook so let's look at the workbook real quick very similar levels kind of reinforcing they have a nice breakout per chapter telling you what exercises which on what page so very helpful if you're trying to reference that from the teacher's manual to the workbook or to the guide so obviously very visual cool penguins they got to stay warm all the fun things so as you can tell, very visual books, very engaging to young readers, young learners. Um, I think this would be a great thing for people to take a look at. So we always like to ask, who is this for? And maybe who is this not for? So if you're in a co-op, like kind of like what we are in, um, you're obviously gonna be able to use this. You can teach multiple children, obviously centered from the teacher with the teacher's guide, really great resource for people to you know, teach multiple children. If you're running a pod or if, for example if you're having to homeschool your your sister's daughter and you have two or three kids that you're homeschooling again another great way to teach math to multiple kids because they're supporting you as if you're a teacher and i believe they're this is widely used as a teaching curriculum for, for kindergarten teachers as well so you can say they're very focused towards a classroom experience so if you're trying to fulfill that this is a great thing for you also, if you're a little nervous about teaching math, great because it has that nice walkthrough in the, in the teacher's guide, really helpful. Obviously very visual, great for visual learners. Kids would love to get in there and work and see all the different shapes and, and colors. So really cool there as well. High touch kids, very interactive. There's a lot of activities and games and singing songs and follow the leader and that type of thing, all listed in the teacher's guide. So obviously very nice to get the kids up and moving and learning math by, by a little bit of physicality. Who is this not for? Maybe an independent learner, maybe not, not so good there. Somebody who's gonna go off and, and, and do math problems. Not really for that, they need to really be instructed on how to do the activity. So maybe not good for independent learners. Kinesthetic learners, now while there is activities that you can move around and do things, there are no manipulatives here. So if you really like a manipulative style math program, definitely maybe not for you. You're gonna to have to bring that in as additional activities and additional learning. Finally, if you're budget conscious, if $100 is a little steep for you for a kindergarten math curriculum, that's gonna be a little bit of a hurdle for you. So do keep that in mind when you're trying to make a good decision on your math curriculums. Singapore math, hopefully this helped you kind of get you understanding what's in the curriculum and what you'll see. So hopefully this informs you on your decision on your math curriculum. Thanks.